Malaria affects 22 million people in Kenya a year. Of those, some 33,000 will die. The majority of them children under the age of five and pregnant women. With the aim of reducing these figures, Novartis has now launched SMS for Life in Kenya, a project that seeks to ensure that all remote health facilities in the country are fully stocked with anti-malarial drugs. Malaria has a cure, but patients must take the medicine early, otherwise the disease may worsen and the patient may die. The purpose of S SMS for Life is to bring visibility of the stock levels in the remote health facilities. This is a major lack of visibility. Uh, it was a major cause of stockouts. Every week, health staff use SMS for Life to send an SMS with anti-malarial stock levels to a central server that compiles the data from all the centers in real time. This way, medicines can be distributed where they are needed most, and emergency deliveries can be made if necessary. It's a very simple system. The program is really going to assist us because we find that at one point we have stockouts. We do not know how to go about it. We do not know whom to address. But with this program in place, you find that it is me communicating direct to them. So they'll be aware of when I have the stockouts or when I have overstocked. So it is so easy for me to express direct what problems I'm experiencing when it comes to the stockouts or overstocking. The most serious situation is in rural areas where it's most difficult for people to get a hold of medicines if the nearest health center has run out. When the malaria patient has the medicine, the patient is almost assured of treatment. Malaria is a very serious disease, but the good the thing about malaria, again, is that it's easy to treat. You can also diagnose it very easily. But if you don't do treatment, one can die. And we have very many patients who have died of malaria. In this village where we are standing now, just behind me is a fresh grave of a patient who died of malaria. And that's how real the situation is. Just one month ago, his brother died from malaria, suffering from fever and vomiting. He had to travel from his village to Nairobi to get treatment. When he arrived, it was too late. After Tanzania and Ghana, Kenya is now the third country where SMS for Life is being implemented. The Democratic Republic of Congo will soon follow. And SMS for Life is expanding. Rapid diagnostic tests, bed nets, antibiotics, or patient surveillance information can now also be monitored. The aim is to extend SMS for Life across Africa, where a child dies from malaria every 45 seconds.